Since 1889, the town of Turner's has been synonymous with Jill Elsie Stoner's family. She's the sixth generation to own the Turner's station, and for over the last decade, she's come up with her own tradition, the frog jumping contest. Come show us your frogs. The rules are simple. The first frog to jump outside of the circle is the winner. Maybe the most important rule. And they have so much fun. That's what it's all about. I am a Mark Twain fan, and he wrote, you know, Jumping Frog of Calaveras County. But it's something, you know, when you're out in the country, this is our 130th year. We want things that people can do and bring their kids, and it's just a family, fun, free event. The race sees a variety of frogs that are split up into different heats. That'll be a small. That'll be a small. Uh -huh. okay. Once all the frogs are checked in, they're placed in the center and must hop their way to the finish line. There we go. That's where the fun is. My favorite thing is watching their faces of the kids, the adults, the grandparents. Well, hello from Boise, Idaho. Mary Ellen Beeble made the trip to watch her grandkids in today's race. I've been watching it on the internet, watching my grandkids on the internet for three years. This is the fourth year. I jumped on a plane and came to see him this year. Congratulations. The winning racer gets a ribbon and everyone gets ice cream afterwards, but the true prizes are the memories made. Small town America, it, it's just everything that's good and wholesome. It's a great way to raise kids being interested in things like this. Another generation needs to be raised knowing that there are fun things to do outside. <laughs>